Hey folks, well it's that time of year, new core set for Magic the Gathering, and as usual, or at least as usual for the last three years, I have bought a booster box. Um, <clears throat> if you remember the 2003 box, it was black and white, the 2014 box was Chandra focus, so it was blue and orange, and now we're back to the kind of Spartan black and white um, color scheme with Garrick as the main character, and if you've been playing Duels of the Planeswalkers 2015, which I have, it's a lot of fun, um, you'll know that it's all about uh, Garrick being cursed by the veil and turning evil. I actually finished the Garrick battle over the weekend, it was a huge pain in the ass, but uh, it took me several tries, but it was fun. I actually do like... Um, I like the new format of Duels of the Planeswalkers. I like how you open up booster packs as opposed to individual cards. I think it gives a lot more flexibility in terms of deck building. And just while I struggle to get this open, I'll tell you that I'm actually currently... I started out with the black and red, or actually I guess the red and black deck. I chose red as my color, and I chose the red and black deck. And um, <clears throat> so I had the kind of violent, you know, creature sacrificing... Why can't I get this open? mechanics going, and then as I went on in the game, ah, there we go, uh, once I unlocked Sanguine Bond and some other white cards, I actually splashed white into the black and red and changed some other cards around, and now, so I, and now I have a black and red kind of burn um, lifelink deck, which works pretty well. Uh, I actually just finished all the way through... In a strad this morning, beating Liliana and unlocked a whole bunch of really cool uh, red and black cards, including two nightmares. So I'm probably going to go back and probably do a full black and white lifelink with maybe a splash of red vampires and then do just a red goblin burn deck. Anyway, in case you care. Which you probably don't, since you clicked on this video to watch me open cards. So that's what I'll do. <clears throat> I was on Steam last year. I know there were some people interested in playing with me, but I never got around. I mean, I, I just never figured out how to actually do that. But I'm on Google Play this year, and if I decide to um, do multiplayer, then I will let you know. So here's the insert. This assumes I have a store, because why else would you be buying a booster box of magic cards? You can see, as I said, very um, low, uh, very kind of simple color schemes, black and white, with a little bit of color depending on the cover image on the um, on the pack. So I'll just open up a few of these. <clears throat> Alright, pack number one. Welcome turn, Miner's Bane, Ephemeral Shields, Frost Links, Hunt the Weak, which is familiar, Shaman of the Spring, Runeclaw Bear, Necrobite, Invasive Species, Wall of Essence. That's pretty cool, and the walls are lame in general. Shrapnel Blast, eh, that's okay. Paragon of the Eternal Wilds. The green creature to control get plus one plus one. Okay. And the rare is Life's Legacy. As an additional cost to cast Life's Legacy, sacrifice a creature, draw cards equal to the sacrificed creature's power. <laughs> and you have sacrificed a unicorn just to be back some evil. Looks like I got a bonus card here. Planes. And no, I didn't. I forgot. You guys get an ad, you land in an ad card. <clears throat> Explaining what all the different symbols mean. Okay. Pack. Number two. <clears throat> Thundering Giant, Heliod's Pilgrim, Amphin Pathmage, Wall of Fire. That's an old one. Wow, uh, that's been around since the very first set, I believe. Verdant Haven, Flesh to Dust, Naturalize, Rot Feaster Maggot, Undergrowth Scavenger, Sign and Blood. On the Uncommons, Boon Weaver Giant, 447 drop. When Boon Weaver Giant enters the battlefield, you may search your graveyard, hand, or library for an aura card. Put it onto the battlefield attached to Boon Weaver Giant. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. 
Paragon New Dawns. Okay, so I got two Paragons. Overwhelm. And... Oh! Look at that! The second pack in the box is Garrick. I am a charmed man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why even bother opening the third pack? There we go. Garrick Apex Predator. Four abilities. Destroy target planeswalker, put a 3 3 black beast creature token. Death touch. Destroy target creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. Target opponent gets an emblem. Man, I shouldn't have just. I shouldn't have bought the box. I should have just bought, uh, you know, a pack. That's uh, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was gonna open six packs in this video, but that's probably enough excitement. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and open the third in case there's a Liliana in here. Divine favor, Nimbus of the Isles. Wait, was that? Okay. Um, Siege Worm, Flesh to Dust, Hydra Surge, Goblin Rough Rider, Meditation Puzzle, Mind Sculpt, Blast Fire Bolt. Come on, come back into focus camera, thank you. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I've actually dropped my camera and broke it, um, or bought my phone and broke it, so the camera still works, but I think the autofocus gets mad at me sometimes because. I broke it. Uh, Juggernaut, that's also something I think was in the very first set, at least going back to revised. Restock. No, oh, my wife's going to love that. I think I mentioned this before. My wife loves to play green, um, and the one thing she doesn't like about green is that there aren't a lot of cards that bring cards back from the gra uh, graveyard, and that's what this does, so she will be very excited about that. Um, <clears throat> Stab wound. Another mythic. <laughs> All right, so far so good, I must say. A perilous Vault, Island, and ooh, a dragon. All right, let's look at, look at, let's have a look at this Garrick. So the nice thing about this is that, as I mentioned, my wife will only play green, but if she wants to play Garrick, she's gonna have to play black, and that which should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a little foil thing on there. I don't know if that makes it rare or not. It looks like it's numbered down here. I guess I should know what this means. 210 out of 269. Oh, no, they're all numbered. I guess that means there are 269 cards in the set, and this is number 210. Okay, never mind. That's not that exciting. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm excited about building a deck around this guy. Uh, pretty much impossible for this box to be disappointing at this point, and uh, I should be able to make at least one really good deck from uh, this Garrick, so that's pretty cool. Looking forward to um, doing that at some point once I slog through the rest of these. All right, well, that that's do it. Welcome to the Magic 2015. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the new set. Hope you guys got to do some Friday Night Magic maybe over the weekend, or maybe do the pre-release. I don't know if it's not like I'm shilling for Wizards of the Coast here. I'm actually not. I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, yeah, enjoy magic, and thanks for watching.